back in the Performance Centre here at West Wilkes. We're looking at golf balls again this week. Last week we obviously looked at the Pro V1 versus the True Feel, and we played it over a 60 yard shot to see what the difference was between the two. Uh, I've had a few requests to have a look at the golf balls again this week, but see what the differences are between them when using a driver and see if there is as much as a, of a difference as we saw with the wedges. So first up, we're gonna have a look at the true feel. Um, we've set the launch monitor up on the 18th at the Belfry, very iconic hole, very, very difficult driving hole. You've got water that you've got to carry, so you need a reasonable amount of distance and you need accuracy because we've got bunkers up there as well. So we're gonna have a look, see what the performance difference is between the two. So that's the true film. Uh, feels good, um, fairly accurate, good distance, good control, uh, which is nice. Always nice to see off the driver. Uh, well, let's see what the Pro V1 has to offer. This is a screenshot of one of the drives that I hit. You can see the hole is quite narrow over water and we've got to avoid that bunker. And I did it that time. Okay, that was quite an interesting test. Uh, Pro V1 felt a little bit softer, like with the wedge test. However, there wasn't that much of a difference. Not that I could separate in the same way from a fill point of view from when we hit the wedges. But there was a little bit of a difference, but it'd be interesting to see what the figures tell us. Let's go and have a look. Okay, let's have a look at those figures. We can see that the true feel is a slightly longer golf ball, being the average there was 303 against the Pro V1's 300. The true feel is definitely the longer ball given the fact that my swing speed was slightly slower with the true feel, but obviously it still beat the Pro V1 on distance. And that's got a lot to do with the fact the spin rate was lower with the true feel than it was with the Pro V1. However, the Pro V1 was more accurate. You'll see the shot dispersion was definitely better. So the Pro V1 is the better golf ball for me. However, it's only subjective and it's only the better golf ball for my golf swing. So the best thing to do is come up and have a ball fit and we can understand which one suits you the best. Hope you're all safe and well and hope to see you very soon.